One of the things within the supply chain is that people make money out of knowledge, which is not often, uh, which is often also tested knowledge, knowing the right way to organize things, to deal with customs, to deal with, well, the whole set of stakeholders in the supply chain. Use of data makes it more transparent. Yeah? Look at, as a good example, the travel uh, industry, uh, tourism. The whole middleman is gone. Well, in the container industry or in the supply chain, uh, we still see this middleman and him playing a quite a powerful role. So he sits on the information, is reluctant to, uh, to give it away. So, but this is an inevitable trend. It will happen and the use of data will, uh, will become a lot better. In addition, um, from this data we can learn. If we look at the nature of shipping and of container trade, it's very repetitive. Uh, every week you go to the, to the grocery store and you buy more or less the same stuff, right? So that, that, that means there are patterns, patterns that you can recognize, that you can learn from, that basically you know this container is coming, you know already what the perfect place is, and you more or less know when it's going to be picked up. So why do we touch containers still three to four times when they're inside a terminal? Quite silly, right? If we know, but we don't, because we don't use the data to discover these patterns, predict better, and as such, be much more efficient in, uh, in handling containers. Generally, and this doesn't only apply to uh, our container industry, there's a reluctance to change. Uh, change is always difficult. Um, on a personal level, it's difficult. In a company, it's different. In an industry, it's very different, uh, very difficult. Um, at the same time, there is a wealth of options to go for. And what's the best one? Which, is gonna, which one is going to prevail? What if I invest? And if I invest, I want to have something for the next 10, 15, 20 years. How to make sure I choose the right solution? Um, it's a niche market uh, with niche technology and um, with a lot of developments going on, influenced by other industries. So it's also not easy to make the right choice and, and to change in the right uh, direction. 